So I was originally trying to make a super cute, aesthetically pleasing vlog for you per usual that I love to do during the Gabooine and Gabmas seasons, but you know, <sighs> let me just start out with telling you I was really trying to just do one of those day in my life vlogs where there's like a little Q&A in the middle of the video and then that Q&A was going to be like the title of the vlog. I was going to do one of those and then I put up a photo on my Instagram story and I asked you guys for questions and I didn't realize when I put it up that I was going to get so many of the same questions and concerns and I almost had a breakdown when I read all these questions to myself. I realized, you know, people may not be doing rants anymore on YouTube. People may be doing the day in my life things, but I feel like I'm long overdue for a rant. And I guess this is a Q&A as well because I feel like I'm going to be answering questions in this rant. I get it that Nikki and I have been so, so public about previous relationships and we've let you guys in to our personal lives, our whole online career and presence. I know me specifically, I know I had branded a relationship. I know I had like brides watching my channel at one point, or at least very confused brides because up to a certain point, I was really just doing a ton of wedding content. I backed myself in this corner and I feel like I'm just ready to rant and remove myself from that corner. Those of you who have been watching my channel have definitely seen a huge difference in me throughout the course of 2022. I started 2022 with a cake tasting vlog with my with my then fiance and I am now doing day in the life vlogs not addressing the elephant in the room. I miss being my most authentic self and the podcast if it's taught me anything it's taught me that it's better to be my authentic self than to gloss over things that I just don't feel comfortable talking about. And I have a healthy boundary with myself where I will limit how much I talk about something. I'll wait till I'm ready. In this case, I definitely feel ready to answer some of these questions and even tell you guys things that you had no idea about. But I'm going to be patient with myself and that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been very, very patient with myself. But enough's enough. I feel like because I never made one of these videos sitting down explaining things, people have been rightfully so making up their own presumptions and stories and narratives. And I'm here to just kind of tell you how it is. So I'm gonna start this video off as like a mini story time and then I'm gonna get into the questions. But before we get into the story and the very intrusive Q&A, let's get into today's fancy sponsor of the day. So this fancy vlog is sponsored by Temu. I learned about this website through this sponsorship and I'm super impressed by all the clothing. Everything is low price on this website, so I'll be linking everything down below in case you guys are interested in shopping. Some of these looks, I really, really love this first look that I'm showing you guys. This lounge set comes together and it's my favorite alternative for this type of weather over here on the East Coast. When you wake up, it's like 50 degrees and then throughout the day it turns like 70 degrees. This next outfit is a dress slash jacket and I love how the both are combined. It kind of reminds me of like Glinda from Wicked, her school outfit for some reason. I love how the back is black and the front is camel. It really brings the fall vibes with those two colors combined. But I could also wear this with a beret and like stockings and boots I feel like for the winter season. I do not own any tops with this cut but I absolutely love the sleeves and the neckline and the colors. And the next top that I'm trying on, by the way these jeans aren't from Timu, but the next top that I'm trying on is this coquette top. As much as I love wearing sweaters and long sleeve blouses and shirts and jackets in the winter seasons, I really do love a good coquette moment with some lounge pants, especially for Instagram content and TikToks. I was drawn to this next top because it just gave me some Parisian energy and I may or may not be going to Paris soon. So I definitely had to add this to my cart. I really love it with like a basic black bottom. This onesie I'm actually wearing throughout the story time and Q&A. It's so comfy. I feel like from the POV perspective, like you would not be able to tell this is as short as it is. This dress has to be one of my favorites from the entire order. I just feel like it's super flattering and I love how the sleeves have a hole for the thumb and go down past the hand almost towards the fingers like a glove. And then this dress gives me like Kim K 2022 energy with that high neckline and the pearls. I really, really love how it's a super flattering like waistline. It's not like a bag. It's just 
kind of hugging my body but also flaring at the bottom. And last but not least, I got this blouse. I feel like it gives very Victorian energy and I really, really love the structure of the sleeve and the blouse overall. If you would like to purchase these items for 40% off, you could click the link in my description or use my code TEMU079. Temu also offers free shipping to the U.S. after pay and secure payment is available for all U.S. customers. I hope you guys enjoyed this little sponsorship and now let's get back into the video. I do want to like forewarn you guys like from now through the holidays I do have a bit of sponsorships lined up per video so I'm going to do like a little segment in every vlog where it says fancy sponsor of the day so if you guys don't feel like sitting through you guys can just skip over till you see the end card of the sponsor. So I'm figuring out a way to incorporate them so I just wanted to be transparent with you guys since you are my bread and butter and my life so now let's get into this story. I was texting one of my friends and she gave me a line that I wanted to say in this video. People are so fascinated with women's pain. All of the questions, when I went through the Q&A questions, all of the questions were like, how are you really doing? Are you okay? I'm so sorry. Did you really want to break up? I've even seen people who I know personally who are like married or have kids like comment a question like, why did you break up? How are you actually doing? Are you really okay? They were like, so genuinely curious. How am I happy after not being with someone, after being with someone for seven years? Like, I feel like some people are just genuinely so confused how somebody at my age, 27, could be genuinely content without being in a committed engagement, marriage. I'm not even gonna bring up my personal life in this video or what's going on, if I'm seeing anybody, what I'm doing with my personal life. Like, I'm not gonna answer those questions in this video because of this video because I just genuinely don't feel like constantly making my personal life a topic of discussion. Enough blabbing, I'm gonna get into this story. All I ask is for this comment section to be similar to the podcast, like a judge-free zone. So right now I know I seem very unbothered and totally okay, and I might seem okay telling this story, but just know that when I'm by myself and I reflect on the entire thing, and just basically when I'm by myself, it, it gets to me, but when I have a camera in front of me or I'm super glammed and I have things lined up to look forward to in the week or the day, it doesn't bother me as much, so you might be getting a side of me right now that's like totally fine. I, I get bothered in waves. Right now I'm going through like just being okay. And you know, maybe there's like two or three days where like I'm not okay and then I won't post on my Instagram story or TikTok or make a YouTube video, but today's a good day from the podcast today. So that's why I'm like, I seem okay. like talking about it. The most common question that I got on my Instagram was, why did you break up? And I'm not gonna use my ex's name because he asked me not to be named in his videos anymore and I just wanna respect that. My ex and I are cordial. He is like across the country doing his own thing. He deserves peace of his own. He deserves his own life right now. But basically my ex and I we were away, we went on a trip to Florida, like very, very end of January, early, early February. I need to make it make sense on the internet and I really didn't want to talk about this ever, but I guess I am because nothing makes sense. So my ex and I had plans to have a wedding, like a big reception in May and to elope, like have an elopement ceremony just us two and like a photographer, videographer, different dresses, you know. The photos from the elopement were gonna be framed and surrounding us at the reception in May. May was just supposed to be like a big reception. A lot of people online were thinking my wedding was gonna be in March, but that was just a rumor. The reception was just gonna be in May. And it was like end of January and my wedding planner at the time was like, oh, like when are you guys gonna elope? When you guys have to start thinking about like the ceremony, you have to start thinking about all that. and. At this point, I definitely knew I was having cold feet because you could ask any of my 14 bridesmaids. Like, I was not on it. Like, I did not have anything planned. It was like five months till May. I wasn't even thinking about an elopement. I wasn't, like, I was too invested in work. I wasn't even doing anything. Like, I was not planning my wedding. I didn't even send invites out. Like, I didn't have anything done that you're supposed to have five months until, like, the big, the big day. And... So I knew time was ticking and I knew I had to like elope. It's so hard to talk about because I know a lot of you guys through like my past videos saw so much love and 
And it's crazy because you could be one person one year and you could be someone else the next year. Probably wouldn't even believe yourself, but the other person involved definitely was having cold feet. We had discussed not getting married on multiple occasions throughout that engagement. But when push came to shove, it really was the pressure of the wedding that made us have to make decisions on a certain timeline. So I knew January was like, I gotta do this or, or I'm not doing this because the big day was in May. And so because we were best friends and because we were living together, our whole life was built together. Obviously I didn't think breaking up was an option. So I went ahead and booked an elopement trip for the end of January, beginning of February. And we were supposed to get married on 2 2 2 2 2, like, you know. So the night before the actual elopement, the photographers flew in. We flew with our videographer. Um, the night before everything, I opened up to my ex and I said how I felt. My ex didn't fight back on anything. He was like, you know, it's okay. And he was like, you know, in case things change and all goes well, let's still pose for the photos tomorrow. Then if things don't work out, then, you know, We'll figure it out from there. At first I was confused because he took it so easy. And then after like we got home and talked about everything and you know, went through a process as soon as we got home, we went through some stuff when I got home from that trip. But after we had multiple talks, it was very understood that we both didn't know what we were doing. We both had not experienced much other than each other. We both wanted different things for our lives and ourselves. and. Both of us kind of just didn't really want to get married. And that's why we stayed cordial after everything because it's not like something crazy happened. I just want to put this out there that before any other people were involved in anything, this conversation of not getting married or being together took place when we were away before anything else could have possibly happened. I confused myself. I, I surprised myself. Growing up, I always wanted to get married. I always wanted to do the big thing. I was in a long-term relationship. I wanted to do what was next, but I never sat down before all of that. Like I, I just kept distracting myself with work. I never actually sat down and asked myself, what do you want in five years? What do you want in 10 years? What do you want in 20 years? Does this person align with that? In a way, I feel like I held my ex back too because we kind of just like stayed comfortable. Like I could have been traveling more for work. My ex could have been pursuing the stuff he wanted to do with his life, which he's doing right now. And in a way, we were like just like holding each other back and there comes a point where sometimes love is just not enough and you could really end up resenting the other person if you move forward with something that neither of you are ready for. So to answer the question that everyone has been asking, I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing next week. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about what I'm doing tomorrow and I'm thinking about work and I'm thinking about business and I'm thinking about music and my vlogs. I am in a place where I am not responsible to answer questions about my future self and that's okay, that's totally fine. And to those of you who are actually really surprised to see a 27 year old call off a wedding and be content being a businesswoman and not engaged or married, I am healing my inner child right now so that I can be the best wife or spouse someday or best business owner. Like if you don't work on healing your inner child, it could bleed into work it could bleed into other relationships than just romance. I am working on something right now that I never had the opportunity to work on. Being uncomfortable brings you the opportunity to work on yourself. I'm getting comfortable being uncomfortable. This was a house that I had moved into with my ex. Oh, and to answer that question, you guys are asking if my ex and I bought this house together. No, this house is in my name. I am thoroughly enjoying this house. I'm not moving from this house just because something happened in it. I'm enjoying not knowing what next week's gonna look like or the week after. Um, I mean, in terms of like with a work world, of course I have that plan, but my personal life is finally private. I know my vlogs used to be like so heavy involving other people and friendships. I know it might look like a lot of people have left my life, but ever since everything that I've went through online, like going through this breakup so publicly, I have reevaluated putting the people I love and care about in my content and if it's really worth it and it's not and honestly to be honest I have more fun like filming by myself anyways doing my little girly endeavors I love bringing you guys with me it feels more intimate it feels like we're together it just feels more natural like what I was doing in the beginning of the entire career it was just me and the camera because I was too embarrassed to pull out the camera in front of my friends yeah a lot of you guys have been asking questions just regarding the breakup my current dating life and if I miss my old life and when you guys say if I miss my old life I see my life as the same 
old and new. I just, I see it as just one long story with different chapters and I don't miss my life a year ago. Actually, a year ago I was dealing with so much more mental health stuff than I am now and I'm very, very proud of myself for overcoming some of the demons that I had to overcome last year. I do believe my self-help and self-care journey led me to a point where I was vibrating so high that I could be present for myself and make rational decisions that I wasn't able to make because I was so anxiously attaching myself to other things such as work and a relationship that wasn't serving either of us anymore. I feel strong and that's like the best word that I could use to describe how I feel right now because a lot of you are genuinely curious how I'm actually feeling. If I'm feeling upset, I will show you I'm upset. I'm that type of person. I'm that type of girl. I will I will let it be known if I'm not okay. Um, and I'm very happy that you guys are, are asking me how I'm mentally doing because to be honest, not a lot of people in my personal life genuinely ask me, how is your mental health? How are you doing? Like That's not something that I'm regularly asked. So I appreciate it and please don't take my responses as like an attack. I really, really love and appreciate your care for me. I think I'm just hitting a level of being annoyed because I feel like people look down. I genuinely feel like people look down on a girl my age, breaking off a long-term relationship slash engagement, marriage. I come from a small town. I feel like it's the traditional thing to do. I genuinely feel like people around me in my hometown definitely look down at what I did. But at the end of the day, you live your life for you. I made a decision that I had to make for myself. I definitely elaborate more on the storyline and the story beyond beyond everything I'm saying in this video. I elaborate more on some of the stuff you guys are asking in a song that I'm going to be releasing in the new year that I've already recorded. I'm just like playing around with it. The new year, I'm going to be spilling some tea in my songs. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, in five years, I genuinely see myself running multiple businesses and upgrading from this house to a forever home, hopefully a publishing deal because I love, love, love to songwrite and I love to write in general. So I do see myself having babies, but I'm not going to pressure myself because obviously I'm just like not in a situation where I would, where I should even think about having babies because I, I don't even know what next week looks like. I can't even make any promises to my future self. Yeah, I would love to be a mother. I hope I answered some of your questions. There's definitely way more questions on here. I could make a part two. I just hope that you guys aren't watching because you're fascinated to try and see my pain. I hope you guys understand I am going through pain. Just just because I seem fine right now doesn't mean I'll be fine in three days. It's like a it's like waves. It comes in waves. I'm such a people pleaser and I get so so nervous about what people are going to think of me but at the end of the day i can't control how people are going to think of me i can only own my truth and if you don't agree with my truth if you don't like this story then that's okay and at least i could say that i was honest with myself and with you guys the ones who actually care and are trying to understand my perspective and story i love you i will see you in my next fancy vlog anyone who's watching this and giving me any so any sort of grace i love you and thank you i'll see you